Welcome friends, I am Tanmay and I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and Mystery of Molecules. Today I am going to discuss an important name reaction that is Rymer Tyman reaction, which is actually a formalization reaction of electron rich phenol nucleus. Okay, so let's start. Actually, this name, this name reaction is a reaction between phenol in presence of alkenes in alkaline medium, phenol and chloroform react to produce these ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde or 2 hydroxy benzaldehyde or salicylaldehyde and 4 hydroxy benzaldehyde uh, or para hydroxy benzaldehyde both. Here the ortho isomer is a major product. Okay, apparently it looks little uh, less conversion, but it's the major product and para one is the less. And this major product, this is, I'll explain why this is less but major. And this reaction actually proceeds to a very reactive intermediate which is called as dichlorocarbene. Okay, this CCl2 and actually this is a singlet carbene means this it is in sp2 orbital, this lone pair and this p orbital is vacant and this p and here the chlorine lone pair, chlorine lone pair uh, electron donates here a little bit to uh, reduce electron deficiency. And that's why this intermediate is relatively stabilized. I get, I say relatively because this is a 3p, this is a 2p. So overlap is less here but stabilized. And this lone pair remains in this orbital. And actually most importantly, it's, it is an electrophilic carbene. Means this is an electron deficient carbon center. So it is electrophilic carbene. Okay. And electrophilic attack happens on this 2p, this vacant or what, p or what. And this is a 6 electron species, sextet, so electron, uh, 2 electron deficient, that's why the two attack of 2 electron on this is possible. One another information, please keep it in mind that this dichlorocarbene gen regeneration for the Rymer-Timian reaction could be achieved from another substrate which is trichloroacetate salt. What happens? that this trichloroacetate decomposes and it eliminates it eliminates the carbon dioxide and after that it produces this CCl3 minus means up to this state CCl3 minus this CCl3 minus eliminates one chloride to produce this dichlorocarbon so this is the basic introduction of this reaction so right now I shall explain the mechanistic course of this and initially I want to give you another information that this sodium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide could also be used as a base and during this reaction this hydroxide and chloroform both are not soluble so a biphasic system is constructed which reacts to produce this dichlorocarbon what happens this phenol initially in presence of sodium hydroxide produces phenoxide through an acid base reaction because we know phenol is little bit acidic because of the conjugation of the corresponding uh, conjugate base to the benzene nucleus which is the reason of its acidity compared to its uh, its aliphatic counterpart alcohol so and what happens this if you see the structure of this chloroform this 3cl this and here it this proton is abstracted to this carbon which is attached to 3 electronegative chlorine atom. So the delta plus character or polarity of this hydrogen is higher. Consequently, this is abstracted by the alkali to produce a trichloro CCl3 minus anion. Since it, it was sp3 center, it is expected that this carbon ion is sp3. Initially it is, but later it undergo sp2 hybridized orbital and this negative charge is delocalized through three chlorine atoms vacant d orbital okay so one is vacant d orbital energetically accessible vacant d orbital of chloride and second is minus i of chloride stabilizes the carbon in this way the carbon is produced after that since this carbon is attached to 3 chlorine atom, it undergo elimination of 1 chloride to produce that dichlorocarbon. And I have explained the how why dichlorocarbon is stabilized. So in this way, 
after the acid base reaction and halide elimination a reactive intermediate that is ccl3 is produced and second point due to resonance this phenol have a electronic uh, electron rich carbon means ortho para ortho and para centers are more electron rich how so this is o this is minus so in this way in this way it can come here and it to produce another canonical form so and here corresponding sodium plus is there so this so that is the reason why the electrophilic attack of this ccl2 which is generated from chloroform happens on this ortho and para site okay so after this reaction it can produce both ortho substituted the both ortho and para product means this is hydrogen this is ccl2 similarly it can have this is hydrogen this is ccl2 reaction possible and actually you must remember that the negative charge will come on this carbon center because this negative charge is attacking the means this negative charge is attacking this with two electron so it is expected it will be negative okay fine now after that uh, what happened this undergo hydrolysis let me consider only one example it will be less complicated so from the in the reaction medium there are some water molecules so and actually this is a carbon ion you can see the negative charge is on carbon and that carbon is attached to one this phenyl ring and other is to chlorine generally it is shows that this negative charge is on this carbon abstract this proton but i believe that's not more logical because carbon ion abstracting and hydrogen is that much from hydrogen from ch bond is more difficult compared to abstraction of a proton from oh means water molecule this is easier so this after that in reaction medium there is alkali so this alkali is abstract this proton and this aromaticity is weakened so consequently this phenolic ring is now became aromatic so this is the h and this is cl cl this so right now you can see that phenol has a negative charge it can push and this bond can push and this it leaves means chloride can leave to produce again another aromaticity loose product means this double bond this h and cl okay and another thing this chloride leaves so it is charge wise it is neutral why this hydrolysis happens easily number one you can see this is actually benzylic center okay benzylic carbon center so this electron of this phenyl ring can undergo uh, undergo this overlap with this orbital and leave this cl as means chlorine as a cl minus oh fine and you can see this is you have i think you should please focus here this moiety is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound okay and another thing it is attached to an electronegative halide electron deficient so this carbon this carbon is highly electron deficient since it is very highly electron deficient what happens that the base molecule attacks this side okay not this side this side okay and after attacking here this ring again reaches aromaticity gains this aromatic stabilization consequently the reaction happens here o minus this so right now this is ch this is cl this is o and you can write you can see this molecule this is nothing but a uh, chloride means aldehyde attached adder aldehyde attached to a chloride okay so if we know that and carbonyl groups are more stable consequently the base molecule abstract this proton it comes and this pushes aldehyde goes back so consequently what it produces it produces this cho that is the rimer table product
ओके एंड आफ्टर एसिडिफिकेशन आफ्टर एसिडिफिकेशन इट प्रोड्यूस दिस सो इन दिस वे द एल्डिहाइड ग्रुप इज इंसर्टेड इन टू द ट्रिंग ओके फाइन द सेम मेकानिजम विल बी फॉलोड इन केस ऑफ पैरा आइसोमर टू प्रोड्यूस दिस पैरा हाइड्रोक्सी डेंसिटी now one question how much you can how much this hydroxide is needed actually three molecules of hydroxide is needed okay and you can see in this way that actually from here we are getting aldehyde no chlorine is there initially there was three chlorine so three sodium will go out as three uh, with three as a three sodium chloride formation first second first pro, means then three hydroxyl is there so three proton abstraction will happen happens first proton abstraction happens here from phenol second proton abstraction happens here from this aromatic nucleus and third proton abstraction happens here so in this way three hydroxyl groups are conceived okay okay so here the question comes this is around 36% and this is around 9% why generally we have observed that para product predominates not the octo product but why exception here i do not have the actual answer for this i haven't seen in anywhere i have one of my personal opinion personal opinion is that this dichlorocarbene is a electron deficient species okay that means it needs electron but it is this electron deficiency on this carbon center so soft center okay that's why i believe this it remains closer to this oxygen as its electron rich and negative charge so consequently this two area ortho position is more closer to this dichlorocarbene and consequently this dichlorocarbene get attached to this and finally also possibility is here but that is relatively less compared to this adduct means this close proximity that's why it have produces but it produces little less amount so this is the uh, this is the logic for this ortho selectivity another logic why this dichlorocarbene is can why can't attach this oxygen instead of it is getting attached to a carbon center although this attachment is goes in, uh, actually it's going through a uh, breakage or destruction of aromatic stabilization that corresponding energy of activation is high the reasons if this reaction happens this is a soft oxygen is hard so soft hard interaction is there but if it reacts with carbon this is softer softer so ultimately product is more stable that's why it is undergoes through this reaction and produces the c c bond formation i shall explain about the purification process of this salicylaldehyde and another important answer why yield is so much low okay so first let's explain why yield means during i ex, uh, explain sorry so you can see this is ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde this is para hydroxy benzaldehyde and another thing this ortho isomer is steam volatile means steam volatile what do i mean means its boiling point is less and what happens this ortho isomer can form hydrogen bonding with this okay and it's a six member ring six member ring and this hydrogen bonding formation possible but in case of this para isomer the actually this is intramolecular hydrogen bonding intramolecular hydrogen bonding so that's why its boiling point is low compared to the para isomer if we consider this para isomer this para isomer so intramolecular they can't form instead of that they can form intermolecular so intermolecular means this another molecule of this four hydroxy benzaldehyde in this way this chain is continuous so if this network is long it's so this breaking this unit and to form a discrete molecule and being it in gaseous space is difficult more energy needed that's why is bp is higher due to this is intra this is inter intermolecular hydrogen bonding okay so that is the reason so consequently what happened this reaction mixture is distilled off and if this reaction mixture is distilled off then what goes 
then this para isomer remains in the reaction medium and ortho isomer and this unreacted phenol remains in the medium so this phenol and this aldehyde mixture right now we have as a distillate after that what happens this mixture reacted with sodium bisulfite and we know that this bisulfite and forms adac with aldehyde and here the actually the adac formation happens by the attack of sulfur okay this sulfur lone pair attacks this sulfur is a lone pair of electron that attacks this carbon center and ultimately this adac is formed and this is a solid compound and it precipitates out from the reaction medium so it is collected washed and separated so in this way phenol is separated this is and treatment of this material with dilute mineral acid dilute h plus or or otherwise alkali will ultimately result the breaking of this bisulfide adac and it produces this salicylate so in this way this react this separation is carried out now the question is why the yield is so much less okay actually this less because it is true that this oc bond is not stable but this formation is possible and majority of things remain closer means attached to this dichlorocarbene consequently the overall yield is lesser so what logic i have given you previously that is supported by this fact indirectly that this oxygen and this car dichlorocarbene carbon atom has some interaction that's why first of all this yield is less and second of all this ortho selectivity is improved okay let's explain why the yield of ribavirin reaction of the major product is low because 37% is a major product and it's a very low yield actually what happens at all the ortho isomer is most stable due to the intramolecular hydrogen bonding what do i mean this oh along with this 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 is a intramolecular hydrogen bonding six member it's a very stable but still it forms less because actually during the reaction phenol remain peroxide because the nature of alkaline medium and we know that alcohols can form acetal with uh, aldehyde okay actually carbonyl and this is the hap this phenomena happens here so here also phenols also form the acetal with uh, this uh, salicylaldehyde produce okay consequently since this is so consequently what happens this have some amount consumes and how it recovers during the acid hydrolysis we know that acetals are stable in the base but not stable under acid because in acid it protonates this push back it opens similarly another water molecule attacks and in this way it ultimately end up with salicylate so this is the reason why this ribavirin reaction although this salicylate produces major product but the yield is less